on the now, an overturned fuel tanker still causing problems at K7 near I-70. This is right near Bonner Springs. This has been going on since this morning, folks. It's caused a lot of problems here. Northbound K7 in this area is still closed because of this. That pumper truck is on the scene or was on the scene. Now they've got this giant tow truck that can pull these big rigs uh, out of the ditch there. You can see the tire tracks and, oh man, major issue there. Trying to offload the fuel before they remove the tanker truck. There are four compartments to empty, which is why this has taken so long. Captain Greg uh, Borden live in Sky Tracker for us to talk about the traffic impact here. Hey, Christy, yeah, we continue to monitor the situation out here at Bonner Springs. That tractor trailer, that tanker truck, actually originally rolled over so, uh, at least once. You can see they do have it up right now, and as far as we know, they are getting some pump units to get those tanks emptied out. This could go on for a while. KDOT saying that this, uh, the northbound side of K7 here just south of I-70 could stay closed for a while. Of course, once it's opened up, we'll get right back to you. Krista? Yeah, kind of a nervous thing. Captain, I know we've seen a lot of semi-issues. Not very often is it a tanker like this, though. Yeah, this is a little bit dangerous. When the tanker rolls over, you never know what's going to happen. It does appear that it happened right in this intersection. We haven't heard the story behind that yet, but it did happen right at the bottom of the ramp from I-70. Krista. All right. Thanks, Captain. Good to hear from you, and we'll continue to monitor this and uh, let you know when there are changes. Kevin?